My lady, if I may just pull you away for a moment, I need to talk with you on a matter of the utmost importance. Apologies for interrupting your most esteemed suitor here. My apologies, sir. In the meantime, I believe the hors d'oeuvres will be making their way to you swiftly. Now, my lady, if you would... You gave the signal, my lady? Yes. Well, I'm afraid while your father does not know about our entanglement, he will continue to attempt to set you up with these suitors. I know, my lady. And of course, you had to be pulled away for good reason. For you see, your gown has developed a fault. So I'm afraid, for the sake of your dignity, I'm afraid I cannot allow you to leave this room until I've fixed it properly. But of course, allow me to get my sewing kit. I know you're simply dying to get back to flirting with the men your father called here. Ah, here we are. Yes. I keep them all round the house. Never know when you might have a sudden wardrobe malfunction. Well, it's my job to be prepared, isn't it, my lady? If you would be so kind as to sit down, I will begin work fixing this new hole that you have inexplicably developed. Well, officially, this ball is a fundraising event for the new hospital wing. But, while dusting, I overheard his lordship discussing it more as a showcase of the eligible bachelors nearby. It can be useful to be a fly on the wall. I keep my thoughts to myself and blend in with the furniture. He's getting desperate, you know. Well... On the one hand, it means you'll be dealing with charming specimens such as the wonderful gentleman I pulled you away from, who is, at this moment, already eyeing up the poor maid. But it does mean, fairly soon, he should become more amenable to your choices of partner once he starts to lose hope in these suitors. <laughs> well... It suits me to be practical-minded, my lady. There is another possibility. No, not eloping together. I have been informed through alternative means that Harry, heir to the de Lacey family, is more fond of the company of menfolk than the bachelorettes his parents have attempted to set him up with. Well, my lady, have you heard of using someone as a beard? It would involve more subterfuge, which I know you are sick of, but you and Harry could enter into a partnership, in which, to the layperson, it would appear that the stars had aligned and a happy marriage had been formed, but, in reality, you were, in fact, providing mutual cover for one another to pursue your true feelings. It is just a contingency plan, my lady. Obviously, the ideal scenario is one in which we can be open about our feelings, but I don't want to jeopardize your position. You deserve the finer things in life, my lady. Allow me to get the door. It would be most improper for you to be seen entangled 
with one of the staff. Now, where were we? <sighs> I love you, darling. We will find a way for us to be together. I promise. Oh, yes, I suppose I am talking more normally. What? Do you not enjoy when I talk like a proper butler? <laughs> My lady? <laughs> I thought so. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What did we say about eye contact? It is most improper to talk to someone while gazing upon the floor. Allow me to guide you. Gently cup your chin like so. And... There we are. Not so difficult, is it, princess? I'd rather die than never get to see those beautiful eyes of yours again. There's that smile. Now, don't go sharing it with any of those womanizing nobles your father is called here. That smile is just for us. Isn't that right, mistress? I thought so. Now, I believe I have fixed your dress properly. Care to stand up so I can take a proper look? It's beautiful, my lady. It broke my heart to see it damaged. Well, now the dress is fixed, I suppose you should be heading back into the ballroom. Well, unless a hairpin was to just suddenly slip. Ah, <gasps> my lady. What a mess. I simply cannot allow you to go out looking like that. I suppose I must insist that you return to your seat and allow me to fix your hair. What a shame. I see you've been using those new products I bought you. <laughs> I told you they would work. It's nice and silky. Well, my lady, it appears we have plenty of time to discuss whatever you would like. After all, I have to remove the rest of the hairpins, brush your hair through, and start all over again. My, my, my lady, there are bruises on your neck. Well, they weren't visible before, because your hair was hiding them. But, well, I suppose I must have been too enthusiastic last night. My lady, you don't need to blush, although I do enjoy seeing it. See, I have them too, under my collar. But, unfortunately, as happy as it makes me to see you marked, for the sake of keeping our secret, I think we may need to cover them a little better than that. Hush, hush. Allow me to get the makeup kit. Here we are. Concealer. It doesn't need to cover it entirely. Just enough to make it less noticeable from a distance. Say, if you were to brush your hair behind you. Now, if I just lightly apply it, like so, it should disappear nicely. There we go. Now I just need to finish fixing your hair and then, I'm afraid we must go our separate ways for the rest of the evening, lest people start to speculate. 
As much as the idea of people talking about us like that warms my heart. I do love your hair. I'm glad you let me take care of it. I'd love to just run my fingers through it on a summer's day. Just openly, carelessly, not glancing over our shoulders, wondering if people can see us. I know, my lady, someday, but for now, I believe your hair is fixed. I shall see you soon, my love. But for now, I must release you back into the ballroom and continue serving the guests. We shall meet again in your dressing room, my lady. And we can see just how pretty that dress looks on the floor. <laughs> Try to enjoy the rest of the party. I believe the good food should be coming out soon. <laughs> well, I suspected we might get sidetracked, so I organised that the cheaper food and the alcohol would be served first, that way the more gluttonous guests would fill themselves up on that, leaving others, say, a very pretty heiress with wonderfully done hair, free reign of the good dishes. And I thought you might like that. Now go. I shall follow soon. It will look suspicious if we leave at the same time. If anyone questions where you were, show them the stitches. I love you, my mistress. <laughs>